So, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. All right. You have not made my naughty list. Never. I would, I would <laughs> no, never make no. anybody's naughty list. And, and what would you like for this Christmas? Or maybe for New Year's even? You know, I don't like to be selfish. So honestly, all I want this Christmas is a big, greasy, <laughs> rambunctious, raging crowd at the Rusty Nail on New Year's Eve. We can do that. You, I, as you know, I'm not Santa, but I am one of his helpers. So I, I'm good in with Santa. So I can probably talk to him. You're, you're not Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you give any secrets about the New Year's show? Do you have any, uh, what, what can people expect? Well, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't know a single thing that's coming. All I do is show up for the free Utica Club. There'll be everything from like hard rock to soft rock to... Oh, hard rock to soft rock to Latina rock to <laughs> reggae rock to... Or maybe not the last two or three or four. <laughs> But there's going to be a lot of rock. North of Sight rock? Yeah, North of Sight rock is, is, is a different kind of rock. What, and what is a North of Sight for our viewers that might not know? Well, actually, a North of Sight is the underlying bedrock amongst the entire Adirondacks. Ah, you've done your homework, my friend. No, I just drank a lot of Utica Club. What do you got to say for yourself? What is it like to play New Year's Eve? Is that something a little different than maybe your average show? It's a hell of a lot longer. Right. And as you get older, as you drink more, you tend to feel it for the next couple of days. So would you say that that's a positive experience or maybe a negative? It just depends on what they're feeding us, I guess. Okay, now tell me about this Utica Club. Hold it up. Well, it's a double X pure Pilsner Lager. It was the first... Brew sold after Prohibition, and it's brewed right there in Utica. And what are you drinking tonight? This is PBR, first introduced in the U.S. pretty much. Uh, Chicago's World Fair is where it first got its prominence. So you're a proud supporter of PBR, and you're a proud supporter of... It's the first beer sold after Prohibition. He's got me there, but... I just want to say one thing. Always go for the gold. He got you! <laughs> he owns you! <laughs> so I understand that we can expect a surprise appearance on New Year's Eve from one Steve Perry. Yes. You should have been gone! <laughs> Knowing how I made you feel and you should have been gone! That was greasy. <laughs> what can you say about some of your other band members, that your your comrades in private parts? Uh, those guys looking forward to the show? No, no, we don't. No, we don't talk about that. <laughs> no. They don't. They don't like exposure. You know, they're they're real hardcore. They don't want to be famous. They don't want to be known. They're just in it for the music and the women, and that's it. So I understand the North of Sites were just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Are you excited about that? Great story. Great story. Right behind ABBA. Yeah, it was great. Um, we got to play on stage with ABBA. Are those the guys that spell their name backwards? Yes, yes, both ways actually. <laughs> both right. ways. They're, they're the dancing queens, and we played on stage with them, and they outdanced us, of course, but we outrocked them, and it was greasy, and we had fun, and <laughs> they didn't, but whatever. Did you want to wish anybody a Merry Christmas? Wish all the North of Sight fans the happiest and drunkest of New Year's, especially that night, and a good drunk Christmas too. Well, there you go. You're a, you have positive messages, and the people appreciate that. God bless every North of Sight fan, every Totem Hole fan, every Private Part fan, every fan of rock and roll. God bless us, everyone. I just made Walt cry. <laughs> <laughs> that will not get used. No. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs>